Hi, good morning. This is Shauna from the Bristol Library, and today we are going to be reading Taste Your Words, written by Bonnie Clark. Amira's friend Maddie accidentally bumped into her at lunch. Smash! Amira was not happy. Hey, you squished my cupcake. Now I'm all sticky, Amira snapped. Don't be such a crybaby, Maddie huffed. I'm not a crybaby, you big stink face. Amira took a bite out of what was left of her cupcake, but it didn't taste quite the same. When Amira got home from school, her mom asked, How was your day, sweetie? Terrible, Amira scowled. Maddie called me a mean name, and I called her one back. That must have tasted yucky, her mom said. Make sure to taste your words before you let them out of your mouth. Amira just sulked. Amira grabbed her crayons and notebook and plopped down. Her brother, Remy, picked up a crayon. No! You can't color with me. You're just a teeny tiny baby. When she said the words, she tasted lemons and dirt. Blech. Amira tried to split, <laughs> spit out the sour taste, but it lingered. Amira Elizabeth, her mom said, I know you're upset, but that's no reason to be unkind. Apologize to your brother, then help me with dinner. But mom, Amira whined, I don't want to. When she said the words, she tasted spoiled milk. Yuck! Amira's mom frowned. Go to your room. Amira ran upstairs. This day is so stupid. When she said the words, she tasted rotten eggs. Ew! Amira grabbed her toothbrush. She scrubbed and rinsed and spit, but the yucky taste would not leave. She gulped large mouthfuls of water. I hate this. When she said the words, she tasted pickle juice. Gah! Amira flopped on her bed. This is ridiculous. You can't even taste words. This is all mean Maddie's fault. The taste of mud filled her mouth and tears filled her eyes. Sitting up, Amira thought about what her mom had told her. Taste your words. I wonder, she said. Amira had a delicious idea. I'll share. Tasted like birthday cake. Can I help? Tasted like peppermint. You go first. Tasted like oranges. Please. Tasted like jelly beans. That's better, Amira exclaimed. She knew what she needed to do. Amira dashed down the stairs. Mom, I'm sorry for all those yucky things I said. Cold, creamy, strawberry ice cream oozed around the two small words. Her mom, her mom gave Amira a squeeze. I'll help with dinner, said Amira. Caramel, yum. Amira ran into the next room and scooped up her little brother. I'm sorry, I wasn't nice to you, Remy. Want to color with me? Instantly, she recognized the flavor of her favorite fruit, watermelon, juicy and delicious. The next day, Amira rushed up to Maddie. 
I shouldn't have called you that name, Maddie. I'm sorry. Will you forgive me? As soon as she apologized, Amira licked her lips. They were sugary sweet, like cherries. Maddie threw her arms around Amira. I'm sorry, too. The day grew sweeter as Amira tasted her words in class, at lunch, and on the playground. At bedtime, Amira told her mom all about her day. Her mom smiled and pulled Amira close. Just listen, oh, just then, Louie leaped onto the bed with a shoe in his mouth. No, Louie, bad, bad dog, her mom said. Louie dropped the shoe and tucked his tail. Mom, Amira said, did you taste your words? Dog food, yuck, her mom frowned. I guess I need to practice tasting my words, too. Then Amira said the yummiest words she'd tasted all day. I love you. I love you too, her mom said. And then they both smiled, savoring the taste of sweet words drizzled in chocolate. And that was the end of Taste Your Words.